Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects. The newest version of Filmora, they've released a subtle little feature that you may not have even noticed it if you didn't know it was there. But it's really cool. It really helps with aligning things and getting your text all straight or wherever you want it or even helping with some videos. I'm going to show you how to operate it, uh, where it is and what it is. Let's go. The new tool in Filmora, in the latest version, is something that happens right up here in the preview screen that you may or may not even know about. So let me show you what we're talking about. We're going to start with just something very simple, a solid black co color. Okay. Now that we have a video or a still image, you can see these new lines running up and down the side. See these? If you right click anywhere up in there, you can turn those on or you can turn them off. It's called a ruler. Okay, we're going to leave the ruler on for a second. Right click again and you can choose the guides. You can add a guide, hide the guides, or lock the guides. And what is a guide, you may say? Well, let's click one. We're going to choose white. And we're going to put it on the vertical and we can pinpoint our exact position or we can just move it. Grab your new line, your new grid and place it where you want it. We're going to set it right there. Right click, go to guides, add a guide. Let's go horizontal this time, also in white. And we'll put another one right there. Now why would you want to do that? Let's say that you need to align some text. Okay, We'll just call that text 1. Now here's one of the cool things. You can snap right to the grid lines. So now as we move the playhead forward you see the grid lines have gone. We just click in the box and they come back. Let's go ahead and cut the text line there. All right, and we'll add a new one right on top. And we're going to call this one text 2. And we're going to align text 2. Now, as you play across, Text 1 and text 2 are so perfectly aligned that you can't even see the word text change. All you can see is the 1 and the 2 change. Okay, the wheel should be spinning right now on some pretty cool effects you can make with that. Alright, let's try to go ahead and make ourselves some sort of a, of a quick thumbnail. And we're going to use a bunch of different fonts and do some alignment. So, I like to start off with either an image that I'm going to make the thumbnail out of so we can use um, use Unsplash for, to just grab a picture. So let's just grab ourselves a picture of something. I really don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, oh I see. It's a building. Alright, first thing I want to do is right click that and crop to fit. So it fills the screen. That's nice and this also gives us a lot of lines and angles to play with for our text alignment. So those lines are still there by the way. If I right click on this one I can just simply delete it. I'm going to leave these on the screen because I, I want them. So this one I want to run right down the edge or really the top of that building. And this one I want one there. I'm going to add a vertical now I can tell it where to put it. Uh, we're going to make this one in white again. And I want this one right there on that line. So I've got one on this line, one on this line of the buildings. You see the buildings? And one right there. We may add another one here and here, but we'll see. Now this is, we're trying to make a thumbnail, right? 
So let's get something nice and bright out there. So let's make this building one. All right. And that font's a bit big, but we can adjust that in a second. So let's go ahead on over here. Let's adjust our font a little bit. And that's pretty good positioning right there. Let's grab a sticker. How about an arrow? Grab an arrow. Let's throw it in there. Arrows are animated, so pick the point where you want to kind of freeze your arrow right there. Looks good to me. I take the arrow. We're going to shrink that arrow down. A little bit big for us. To grab the rotation button. Spin it to face in building one. And there we go. So let's position this arrow on the grid line right on that part of the arrow all right looks good you want to see what it looks like hide the guides okay let's get those guides back let's do the next one we already know we're going to want the arrow so let's grab that and this time we'll be talking about this building right here smaller turn that up just a hair somewhere in there let's grab some text I'm gonna do this one a little differently All right so we're gonna grab some new text new title somewhere there we go and what we're gonna do this time is turn it upside turn it on its side we're gonna go up and we're gonna lock on to that line right there we're gonna call that one building two obviously that's a little large let's bring it down and this one we're gonna get a little closer to the line with using our grid boom right on it let's readjust our arrow you can right click and delete all these lines. You can just simply go down to guides and hide them. And there you go. This allows us to align things to get a perfect positioning for typesetting, thumbnails, text. Uh, you can also use this tool for videos to help align clips. If you got two clips you want to bring in, you can put a grid line on there and just kind of line things up if you wanted to. So it's uh, quite handy. Uh, I make a lot of thumbnails. I make a lot of videos. So I make a lot of thumbnails. And um, I've been using this tool since the day it came out. Um, a lot. Of, I think a lot of people don't know it's there. But anyway, just right click over on it and give it a try. Well, that's it. Thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy this new feature. I sure do. Just keep one little thing in mind. that When you move your playhead, okay, those grid lines disappear for a second click back in they're not gone until you make them gone you can either delete them or hide them so they're still there for you ready to help you align the next clip the next word whatever you need excellent feature thanks for watching see you soon